Hello. Today, we're going to take a look at how to work with event groups in TrueSight Operations Management. Using event groups is a convenient way of organizing the events that come into the administrative console for efficiency and ease of identification. So let's get started. You can see that I've logged into my operations console with an administrative privilege. I'm going to go to the navigation area and the first thing I want to do is to check my events by selecting the events option under monitoring. As you can see, I have a variety of events coming in, some informational, some critical, some major, a variety of different things coming in. One of the things I want to do is view any event groups. And we can see, since this is a relatively new installation for me, I don't have any event groups, event groups set up. So let's create one. The first thing I want to do is take a note of any events that I might want to group together that would be useful. I might want to do this by host name, maybe by the type of event. One of the things that I can do is select an event and look at the event details. This will show me lots of information that will help me identify exactly what I want to group on. In this particular case, I might want to create a group that summarizes all the IT data analytics events that come in. So let's take a look at creating a group for that. Return back to the event screen, select the event groups button, hit the small ellipsis to create event group. I can now give it a name. And I can select the parent group of events. And my parent at this point is just going to be all event groups. Now I can pick the class for the event group criteria that I want to include. And I can scroll down and I believe that I can choose from the event class. As you can see, all the various things that you might want to choose from are available. And we have IT data analytics event. And then any slots that I might want to include. And I can go ahead and hit OK. So I now have a new event group created, and it is only ITDA events. And I can see that right away I have seven. You can see the efficiency in this, as opposed to looking at all events, in which case I have 3,900 events, I have eight critical, and a host that I might have to search through, where if I go to my event groups, I can immediately narrow down and look at just my ITDA events. That's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.